All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I ended up doing basically a restoration kind of video on the 1989 Series 6 Ultimate Warrior. Now, this is the one that I had or have that's in, you know, way better condition. Now, I will say... I still have a little bit to do on him. I still have to fix up the orange on, you know, this right here for his, like, little wristband tape. So I have a little bit that of that to fix up. The only really bad thing that I did, which I have done over and over and over, um, is the face paint. The face paint, as you can see, is not really great. I might just honestly start over on the face paint, but I have tried to get it as good as I can. Not really great, though, so I might just start over on that. But on the knee pads and the trunks, now you might say, how in the heck did you find the same exact orange paint for the knee pads and the trunks? And as you can see, I didn't really do that bad of a job for the knee pads and the trunks. Here's even the, the backside of it and whatnot. Or it's dry, so if I touch it, I won't get any paint on me. But, um, you know, it's really not that bad. It's not super sloppy. It's a little sloppy, but, you know, not that bad. Um, honestly, I just looked up orange paint. Then I came across kind of like a dark kind of paint. And I went to my uh, loco, my, my not loco, my loco, or however you say it, the nearest... Uh, dollar general that I have I went there and I ended up uh, buying some paint orange paint that came across as the same color as they used for the figure uh, the blue for the, the kind of wristband tape I ended up repainting same on this side there's a little bit of a mishap I'll just have to clean that up when it fully dries it is what it is but um you know in my opinion he looks really good looks way better than, you know, original. Now, originally when I got him, he didn't have a lot of paint missing. It was just a little bit. But, I mean, I wanted to fix him up either way. The figure itself is not in horrible condition, like, rubber-wise. You know, there wasn't really much paint. I mean, in fact, all the black here is all original. Um, The hair I did repaint, because the hair definitely needed to be repainted. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a mishap right there, some yellow. In the hair, I'll just probably repaint the hair and call it a day to hide that. But, um, besides all that, though, yeah, not a bad figure. The face paint, uh, you know, it's, it's actually really hard to do. So I might just end up removing it, or I might just leave it. I don't know. Or I might just honestly redo it. It is what it is. But, um, you know, the, tr the trunks and the knee pads, I did really good on. Surprisingly, like, really good on and whatnot, and then, uh, the wrist, like I said, the wrist tape, and the bandana wrist tape, or whatever you would call it, that's all original, that doesn't even need to be repainted, like, this figure's not really in bad condition whatsoever, it's just, you know, when I got it, it had a little bit of paint missing, and I'm like, why not repaint him, why not fix him up, make him look really good, if anything, when I got him, the most paint that was missing, besides the face, was the hair, the hair was, like, the most paint missing on, you know, this Ultimate Warrior. But, um, besides all that, you know, just fixing up Ultimate Warrior. And, I mean, from afar, hold on, if I can try to stand them up here. I know these LG and Grand Toys figures are not notorious for, you know, wanting to really stand up great. But from afar, he doesn't look bad. He looks like he's actually in, like, mint condition, you know, from afar. But, um, besides all that, yeah, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more. Uh, Ray Dawn and Ultimate Warrior LJN. I guess you could kind of say back to the roots that he needs to be. Uh, but yeah, uh, see you people later.